What's up guys, Paul from Paul Scholars Fit. I've got a phenomenal biceps workout for you today to follow along. You will only need two pieces of equipment. You'll need a set of dumbbells and you'll need a resistance band. I'm using a heavy covered resistance band. I've got them linked in the description. So if you don't have one, you need a pair, feel free to take a look and grab one for yourself. So if you're looking to blow up your arms, looking for more definition, this is the workout for you. The great thing about doing biceps work is you also get abdominal work at the same time. So pay attention to your abdominals while you're curling. Make sure you get the tightest squeeze that you can throughout every single exercise. If you go into this with the right mindset, you will build your biceps. All right, without further ado, let's get to the workout. start the workout with iso biceps curls we start arms at our sides we slowly curl up until you have the dumbbell at the halfway point we're gonna lower one and then right up to the halfway point lower two up to the halfway point that's number three good number four make sure you keep your abs tight five shoulders in a nice tight position six goal here seven is to get to 20 with me Eight, so we better start moving. Nine, good, you should start to feel the burn. 10, 11, you should start to feel it. 12, big time. 13, 14, 15, it should start to jump on you. 16, four reps to go. 17, 18, 19, oh boy, and 20. All right, set those down. Grab your resistance band. You'll be standing on the band. So I'm gonna step into the middle of the resistance band. Chest nice and high. I've got both sides equal. So make sure you have equal distance on each side. We're gonna go with a high hold to start. So get those bands all the way up to the top. Tight, tight squeeze, release down, back up. That's one, two, three, four, same deal. Tight abs, five, six, seven, eight, on fire, nine, 10. Again, be aware of the biceps, 11, 12. We've got eight reps to go, 13, 14, on fire, 15, keep them high, 16, 17, awesome work, 18, 19, Get a little fire, 20. All right, release those bands. So if you use the proper resistance, you should be frying right now. Biceps should be burning. So now to our third and final exercise, your standard alternating hammer curl. So start with the hands at the side. We're gonna put our dumbbells on our thighs. And you can see from the side, I got my arm positioned straight. So on my thighs, as opposed to at the sides of my hips. So on the thighs, and we squeeze up one, two, goal here is to get to 10, three, four, five, we've got five more reps, six, tight squeeze, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that was round one. We wanna to try to take anywhere between three and five sets. I want you to rest anywhere between one and three minutes, depending on your fitness level. For me, usually two minutes is my sweet spot. So I'll rest about two minutes, and then I'm gonna take another three or four rounds to make sure that my biceps and my abs, and of course my conditioning. As you can see, you're out of breath. If you're not out of breath, you probably did something wrong, or you're just an absolutely phenomenal shape. If you enjoyed this workout, I will be back next Sunday as usual. I want you to follow along with me. Get your mind right. Get your mindset right for the week. Remember what your goals are. Stay focused on them and your success will be unlimited.